All right then, gang. So now you know how to fetch all the data using GraphQL. What about fetching a single record? Well, in the review details component, we're currently using the use fetch hook again to get the single review record. So again, let's delete this so that we can use GraphQL instead, and then also delete the use fetch hook import at the top as well. And then again, we need to import the use query hook and the GQL from the Apollo client package. All right, cool. So now we want to make a query for a single review. And to do that, we'll need to use what's known as query variables, which allow us to pass dynamic values into the query. In our case, we'll be passing in the ID of the review that we want to fetch. So let's start by making this query. All right then, so let's come down here and create another constant. This time we'll call it review, singular, not plural, since we're just getting one review. And we set that equal to GQL and then a template string. So inside here, we'll create the query. So query, give it a name. I'm gonna call it get review, again, singular this time, like so. And inside the curly braces, we want a single review. So not reviews this time, like we did in the home page. When you just want one, you say review which is the singular, not plural. And then inside here, we want the title, we want the body, we want the rating, and we want the ID. All right then, so now let's use this hook, use query, to grab those things, to grab the three things that we need, the loading, the error, and the data. So I'm just gonna create a constant down here and paste those in and set it equal to use query and pass in the review query. Now, at the minute, this is not gonna work because yet we say we want a single review, but we don't tell it what review we want, so it's not gonna know which review to get. So in order to tell it which review we want, we need to use a query variable, and we can pass query variables into our query inside this hook. And the way we do that is by using a second argument right here, which is an object, and then specifying on that object a variables property. Okay, now this is an object in itself, and we can pass through a series of different variables. Now, now I want to pass through a variable called ID, and that is going to be this ID right here that we grab. So it could be one, two, three, or four. So now we're passing that into this query. Now, how do we accept it? Well, all we need is parentheses after the name of the query, and we denote a variable that we're going to take in by saying dollar sign, and then whatever we want to call this variable. I'm going to call it ID. So a bit like a function, we're just taking in a variable into the query. Now, we also type this, so we say colon, and then the type of this variable. Now, in GraphQL, this is going to be a special type, which is called ID, and then we say exclamation mark to say that this value cannot be null. So... We're just saying we're taking in a variable which is of type ID and we pass the ID in right here using this second argument. Okay then, so now we have that ID, we still need to say which review we want to get and it's the review using this ID because although we're taking this variable in at the minute, we're not doing anything with it. We need to now come after the review and use parentheses and then in here say, look, I want you to only get me the review where the ID property is equal to the ID variable that we take in. And now GraphQL knows to get us that one specific review, all right? So then, I think this should work, fingers crossed. I'm gonna save that and go back over here. And what I'm gonna do is go to one of these different reviews. Now, in fact, I've got a feeling it won't work again because of the template down here. So you see, at the minute we get back the data and we log the data out. At the minute, we just say data.rating, but I think it's gonna be data.review.rating that we have to do. Let's try this out. Okay, so at the minute, there's nothing showing. And if we go to the console and open up this object, yet there is a review property that we need to go into first of all. So data.review.rating, and then data.review.title, and then data.review.body. So save that, and I'm gonna refresh, and now this works, look, no error, and we see the data. If we go back and choose another one, this works. Go back, choose another one, and this works, awesome. So my friends, that's how easy it is to use variables inside our query.
We first pass in an object as a second argument into this hook, variables property, which is an object, and we specify any variables we pass into our query. We take them in right here at the query name. We call the variable whatever we want with a dollar sign, and then we say the type. In this case, it's the ID, and then we can grab a single document or single record using this ID thing right here, this ID property, and then specifying that it should equal the variable that we take in. 